Hey, in this lesson, we're going to talk all about generating AI image prompts inside of ZimWriter to manually generate images and also automatically generating images into your articles inside of ZimWriter. It's really cool. Let me show you how it works. So let's talk prompts first. Using the prompts that ZimWriter generates to create your AI images is a manual approach. Maybe you have some articles that you want to manually generate those images. You want to go slow and methodically. This allows you to do that. So this is our text file of our, this is benefits of eating food on digestion. So at the top of it, above the title, we have this mid-journey AI image prompt. So it created a photorealistic image of a vibrant bowl of mixed fruit, such as berries, kiwis, and pineapple displayed on a clean white background. Awesome. So we can take this prompt and feed it into any AI image generator we want. But this is built specifically for Midjourney because it has this stuff at the beginning and stuff at the end, which Midjourney, it's like special codes for Midjourney to, to use version six of Midjourney, to use the aspect ratio of 16 by nine. So we can just take this and paste it into Midjourney. Here's an example of generating the image using Midjourney. Unfortunately, they don't have a public API. So there's no way for ZimWriter to automate this process without risking getting your account banned. So here's an example of an image that we generated, very high quality, but it's a cumbersome process because you create an account on Midjourney and then you have to go and use it on Discord. Eventually, it seems like they're adding the ability to generate the AI images inside of Midjourney's website itself because Discord is just so cumbersome. Once you get the hang of it, it, it it's not that bad. So here's some examples of some different images, very high quality stuff. But again, it's more of a manual process right now. The other place that you can generate these AI image prompts is in the subheadings. So in the bulk writer, that Penny Arcade SEO writer, there is this checkbox right here to enable mid-journey prompt for each H2. And then what will happen is for each H2, I didn't do it for this article, but you would get something similar to this, but relevant to your subheading underneath each subheading. So you can then go and create your subheading images also if you want to. But now what if you want to automate the entire thing? What if you said, you know what? I don't care about the prompts. I just want to automate everything. Yeah, you can do that too. So there is this dropdown for a featured image and for subheading image selections, and then also your subheading image model. Let's talk about Pexels first. If you check Pexels, then you need a Pexels API account. Pexels is not AI images. Pexels is like basically stock photos, but the cool thing is it's completely free. So you can go to Pexels, you can make an account, and if you navigate around, you can find the API and get API access 100% for, for free. There's no cost for this whatsoever. The only downside is that the, the widescreen images selection is very limited. And that's one of the reasons you won't see Pexels as a dropdown for the subheadings, just because we struggle enough to find something that's relevant for the featured image. So it's even harder to find something that's relevant for the subheading images. So we only have that as an option for the featured image. Now, moving down the list, we have some Dolly 3 models that you can choose. Now, Dolly 3 is by OpenAI. So the cool thing about Dolly 3, if you choose that for your, your automated image, is you don't have to add another API account. It just uses your existing OpenAI account to generate the images. Now, the downside is, though, it's a lot more expensive. So generating one Dolly 3 image, standard definition, which still is, is high quality, very high quality, is eight pennies. Generating an, a high definition one is 12 pennies. So it's very expensive to use these models compared to Stable Diffusion, which is down below. So anything that says SD is Stable Diffusion. You can choose Dolly 3 or Stable Diffusion for both the subheadings and the featured images. Now let me talk about Stable Diffusion for a moment. You get a Stable Diffusion account by going to stability.ai and then clicking on like the API platform, and then you make an account and you'll get an API key, but then you gotta put some credits into your account. Now, the cool thing is $10 in credits will get you about 4,000 images. So your credits go very far in stability.ai. So I highly recommend just signing up, putting 10 bucks in, and you'll probably never have to worry about image, paying for images for the foreseeable future. And you'll also notice in the drop down, there's lots of different options. Now they all cost the same thing. Three cents for this no style, three cents for this 3D model, three cents for this analog film, all these different options. Which one should you choose? What you can do is you can take the prompt, because I didn't, I don't tell people this, but I'm telling you this right now. This mid journey AI image prompt, this portion right here is what I take 
and feed into all of the different AI models. So I feed it into Dolly 3. I also feed it into Stable Diffusion. So what we can do is we can take this prompt and we can go over here to this site called dreamstudio.ai. And it uses your Stability AI account. So it shows me my credits up here. It uses my account, uses my login, uses my credits. It's made by the same company, Dream Studio by Stability AI. And what's great about this site is it allows us to put our prompt in and then select some different styles and see what they look like ahead of time. Now you'll want to come down here and select 16 by 9 because that's what ZimWriter uses and select one image. And you'll see the cost for each generation is 0.23 credits. So very inexpensive. But you can test these different styles out. You can say, oh, you know what? This particular style works very well for whatever website or job that I'm doing in the bulk writer or the SCR writer or Penny Arcade right now. So I'll, I'll do origami or something like that. Very high quality images. There's origami. This is, I think, neon or something, the neon punk style. So you can play around with the stuff in this Dream Studio and then find something that fits your, your particular tastes. Couple more just like housekeeping items with this. If you select WordPress to automatically upload this stuff, it will upload those images into your article. But it will also, let's see if I can find, it will also download the images to your output folder. Here's, <laughs> this is the funny one. Do monkeys poop and other fun facts. So this is our featured image right here. It doesn't have any number. It's titled just the same as the article itself. And then we have our different, I, I chose subheading images, AI images for each H2. So these are our different subheading images, you know? So you have these as a backup, or if you want to like manually upload these things, or maybe you're not using WordPress, and so you can't do an automated upload, you can still manually upload your stuff using the, the using the files inside of this folder. All right, Ooh, that... That was a beginner lesson, but it felt advanced. There's still some stuff I didn't show you. So tune in for when I get the advanced uh, lesson ready. There'll be more secrets and tips I share with you in there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, drop, drop a comment down below if you have a question. Join the Facebook group, and I will see you in the next lesson.